This is the Real Ass Podcast. If the Mets lose and your day is ruined for the next three yeah. days, it just says to me there's something, there's an emptiness in your life. And the same thing with if you're right. crying because of who the president is. It's just like you don't have anything real going on in your life. So you're all, you're projecting it all into this external thing that has nothing to like, do with it. I stopped you. having emotions after The Undertaker lost at WrestleMania. That was yeah. it. That was it. I was done it's banking like you, on you anything. You look at what college is and you have like Crowder, Yiannopoulos, they go to these colleges and then you have these social justice warriors and they just like scream at each other. And there's a full auditorium and you go, is anyone getting laid? Like, is anyone getting high and having fun? Is anybody at a diner laughing? Like, uh, I also just the, can't. I is... hate the fucking. It's everyone's obsessed with what their struggle is. Right. And overall, there's just it's just the, you, like one person just has to stand in the center room and just be like, I don't fucking care. I, I don't know. Yeah. Like, by the way, like, right. I know, like, dude, like I know you're 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 uh, gay, and I I I'd, I'd imagine, right? All things being equal, it's a little yeah. bit more difficult to be gay. Than it is to be straight. It's I, I think all things being equal, it's probably a little bit tougher to be. I to identify be... more with my fat brothers and sisters uh, and our struggles. I, I identify as fat <laughs> might be tougher. But by the way, if but you're... sure, okay, I'm a member of several interest groups. <laughs> but if you're like you are, fine, the too. Irish, all with the same life expectancy. <laughs> 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 Whether it's suicide yeah. or high cholesterol, yeah. they all get taken out. I, but I'm just saying, thing. It's like if you're gonna go on and on about, like, you know, like as a gay man, my struggle and this and that. Yeah. Eventually, it's just kind of like I don't know, dude. I mean, like, like my grandfather was like a straight cis white male in the fifth. Right. He fought in World War Two. Like, what is yeah. this nonsense? And then they'll see that the Jordan Peterson particularly has these YouTube videos where people, if he, he just goes, oh, I'm not going to use trans pronouns. Like, I, I don't agree that there's 72 genders. That's kind of crazy. Right. They, they right away they start going into this like emotional struggle like my friend who's trans killed themselves you don't know what we go through you don't know right. like they really do right. believe they're going through this like epic struggle well, and it's like dude we, if you want to put on a dress yeah. you want to do this fine, fine do it but no one's getting on board yeah, like this fuck. is yeah this isn't an epic well, struggle we're fetishizing mental illness yes in this country yes. we are glorifying it it's now becoming a personality a personality. My mother's mentally ill. She's legitimately mentally ill. She's schizophrenic. She's in a mental institution. She doesn't have a one man show. Oh, that beats out the gay. She fat doesn't thing. have a. Oh, a yeah. you know it's what a, I mean? a five woman show. You know, <laughs> it's a five woman show. 